This time I will show you how to create modern donut charts for our PowerPoint dashboard. Hello, my name is Kenja and let's have some donuts. Okay, as I said, in this video we are going to deal with method how to create these beautiful donuts charts, which is very important. They are 100% editable. Uh, you will see how. And um, in my opinion, they are pretty good, good, good looking. Like you will to edit them, you will spend no more than 30 seconds. Let me show you how to do that. Really, really piece of cake. As always, new slide, going into insert, insert new chart, and we are going to insert pie chart, which is in fact these donuts. Now, in this case, sorry, in this case, we are going to delete this in Excel. So just to mention, for this job, if you are dealing with charts, there is no question about it in PowerPoint. You should know some basic things in Power in, in Excel. So for this chart, every knowledge you, should, you, you will need to, to make such a PowerPoint chart is shown in this video. But uh, for you to know if you want to insert any chart in PowerPoint, you should know some basics of Excel. So this is my Excel sheet, which is in fact uh, correlated or hyperlinked with my <coughs> sorry with my chart and I just deleted some default values that uh, PowerPoint has when I'm inserting that that chart so when I inserted that chart deleted this in, in Microsoft Excel I should go here press select data then this is something that PowerPoint gave me as a default value I will just remove it and then press add in add I will type background background uh, or whatever you want and this is very important part after this uh, number one in these brackets I will type 20 number ones 20 of them separated with commas so comma 1 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 etc up to 20 uh, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 10. So this is 20. Now I have 20 ones and I've got something like this. I will just delete this legend. Then here, so this is my second A2, I will type, type data. Here as a, as a title for my, I will type fill and here I will type automatic. And then I will type in Excel a simple formula. For example, if my value for this chart is 45, uh, 65%, then the rest of the chart should be showing 100% minus 65. Then formula should be this one, this cell is equal one as 100% minus this so you see it is 35% and then again I will go to select data menu here I will say add something then series name will be data and here series value I will delete these values and then I will select with my mouse this and this so Again, I will delete everything. I will say my I will say my serious name value is my data, and here, <coughs> sorry, serious values are this number, holding shift and pressing right arrow, and this number. And what I got, I got something that looked like this. So this is all the job you have to do in Excel. Now we should deal with a look of this chart so we are going to make this chart looks like this one here 
how to do that again very very simple first of all these 20 shapes will be our, our background and this would be our front look and feel of our chart so to do this first of all we should make our background in a blue color I will choose this blue yeah without any line and then going into into design because when I select this chart I should go into design and then go into change chart type so here you can automatically change your chart you have already set but there is very very interesting option combo charts combo charts are made to add secondary axis so we do not need this clustered column we need here donut and the other data to be donut by checking one of these you are putting your data in front of in front of the the other one so for example if you check this data to be on secondary axis these values will be shown when you press or check this box then your background will be will be in front for now we are going to check that on our secondary axis is background why because we are going to edit this background how we are going to edit this background for example press your background right click and go to format data series here you have your fill options your special effects options and your series options you should select series options and then you should make your donut hole size bigger like this you, you see how behind this background is appearing something which is behind which is our data so we are going to make the, this donut hole size bigger and then we are going to make make donut explosion a bit just a bit there it is we have set our background let me check yes we have set our background then we are going to select our chart going into design again change chart type because we have set our background now we are going to fix and to edit our forefront this is our forefront this is something that will be representing our values we want to make so in order to align front and back of this chart we are going to enlarge donut hole size to fit to background like this and then this is our value of 60 60 what I don't know I forgot let me see I will go to Excel of 60 of 65 percent yes now we are going to make this you should just press one once and then press twice on this shape and then go to into format data point go, go going into uh, fill and line and then to say no fill no line and what appeared are value of, of 65 percent but then you should again click twice on this shape here inside of our chart and go no line solid fill let's say it should be in uh, this fill should be in line with our background slide background but somehow give it a bit of transparency in order to show that it's all about donut chart and then you should just go into format pane and say like resize chart area one and one which is this zoom it and then again press at this um, at this transparent value because this one of 65 percent is totally transparent just press twice on it right click and then go to add data label add data label you will get you will get data so it is 65 percent I don't know if I said something wrong but it is 65% and then change 
the color of that number in align it with with this color and then change the font like to look better than Calibri let's give it like something like this it's automatically changed like it back again into some let's take this color okay and put it at the center of this chart somehow is it not it now it, it is let's look how yeah that's it we have set our first chart then what to do with the rest of them just copy and paste them two times put them here and then you should go to second chart right click edit data edit data in excel and then go and type your value here, I don't know what would be your value, it may be 89% and when you type 89% this formula will automatically calculate it, uh, this, the rest of, of the chart somehow PowerPoint is moving these numbers across the, the space but it's very easy to, to fix them back and then go here zoom it again, right click edit data, edit data in Excel and then type here, I don't know, 45% is value this is this is fixed so in order to align these charts just select them as objects, go to format go to align, distribute horizontally distribute vertically not good let's try with centering yes it is good and then let's try to put them in this space let me see is it okay it is okay maybe just to move them a bit here I like to be then here like this then select them and then again format aligning them vertically horizontally let's see what we have guys this is it the beauty of this chart is that you can use it in every project where you have to to showcase some data or some shares something which is uh, which should be uh, represented in percents and this chart is always a good option because it looks very very uh, attractive very very modern very very cool again you, you could play with with sizes numbers with uh, colors with, with everything that would be it for this time uh, if you like this video of course please share it please subscribe to my channel like it as I said send me some recommendations and your opinion I would take it seriously and try to make new videos about your questions or suggestions that would be it for this time uh, see you next time and cheers bye